In this module, we will talk about clients, all about clients. This is for you to understand uh, why clients, why they hire virtual assistants. Now, if alam natin why they hire VAs at yung mga iba ibang clients, it's easier for us to connect with them and strategize kung paano tayo mahahire by these people. So, uh, if you know how to connect with these people, you know what, what to do para mag, mas, mas mag-resonate ka uh, with them, it makes, uh, it makes us uh, uh, better candidates. Okay? So, sabihin, mas malaki yung chance na ma-hire ka. So, what is a client? Uh, a client is a person or business or organization that outsource specific business processes to outside services uh, like uh, freelancers, uh, mga service providers, like freelancers, contractors, or us, virtual assistants, right? So, um, clients are uh, people who need help with their business processes and looking to outsource. So they need help with tasks. It may be that they don't have time for it, or they're not effective at it, or they're simply, simply, it, they need to use their time elsewhere. Okay, so um, clients are normally the leader of the business, so they're the business or the organization. Uh, uh, some, sometimes, uh, yung manager ang mag hire sa yung hiring manager, recruitment manager, or anyone else. Uh, but that doesn't mean na kung sino yung nakausap mo during interview and stuff, sila tatagay yung client mo. Sometimes your client is the business or the owner of the business. Okay, so um, the one who will ultimately decide. Um, to hire you and is responsible for pay paying you, that is a client, that is your client, so do not be confused, okay? Um, so the last bit here that we want you guys to remember is that your client is not the boss of you. That Yes, merong hierarchy means, but your relationship with the client stems from a need that is fulfilled by you. So it means that they need you and you should be treated Yung pakikitungo nila sa'yo is dapat parang equal, okay? Uh, because sometimes, uh, may mga client, especially if it's their first time, hindi nila alam kung paano tratuhin yung VA nila, hindi, uh, minsan nakakalimutan nila. So, so sometimes, you should remember uh, kung paano and minsan kailangan ipaalala natin sa kanila in a very professional manner na you're not an employee because you're not, okay? So, to give you an example here, Anne has, uh, this is a fictitious character, guys. Um, she has an online store, and yung background niya, nag-start lang siya, uh, magbenta-benta ng mga uh, 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 crafts niya, yung mga ginagawa niya, mga maliliit na mga accessories, ganyan. And then, maraming, na, na, maraming bumili, tapos nagusta na nila, they start posting about it, and mas maraming tao na ngayon. So, at first, okay siya, but as more and more people order, uh, she's getting way too many messages every day. And aside from that, she's, siya yung gumagawa ng mga handcrafted na, na accessories. Hindi talaga siya ma-marketing. So, uh, she wants to focus on really running the business more than uh, yung pagsag pagsagot sa mga messages. Uh, kasi, mas maraming magtatanong kung hindi naman lahat bibili, right? So, may mga very simple lang silang tanong, very basic, like how much, gano, uh, gano katagal bago ma-deliver, yung mga ganong klase, mayroon bang ibang color, paano mag-order, mga ganon. Okay? So, naubos yung oras niya sa mga messages na ganon. So, she... Um, she finds herself spending too much time on smaller tasks instead of really running and um, uh, growing the business. Okay, so an, instead of going out and uh, makahanap ng mas okay na providers and suppliers, she's uh, spending her time para sa mga malilin na bagay. So, uh, what she's going to do in practical for her is she will outsource certain parts of her business processes uh, or tasks to a VA. So, hindi lahat pinapagawa niya. Yun ang mga uh, she decided na she needs help with. Okay? So, alin doon, it really depends sa kanya kung anong gusto niya ipagawa. So, it, like sa example natin, ang pwede niyang gawin is to have someone um, help reply to messages yung mga natatanong or yung mga naka-order na tapos tatanong kung ano na yung 
uh, lagay ng delivery, anong update, ganyan, and marketing. So, posting sa social media and, and other stuff. So, getting a VA is more practical than getting someone in-house for her. Okay. So, um, these are some of the reasons um, why our clients hire virtual assistants or remote workers. Number one, it's practical. Okay? Kasi you can get someone mas mabilis than really getting uh, hiring, pa coaching, managing, training. Kasi sa virtual assistants na uh, alam na nila yung gagawin nila pag, pag start nila. Okay? Number two, um, they can save money. Okay, so instead of paying for yung taxes and benefits, if they get an employee, they'll only have to pay for yung pinaka services ng virtual assistant. So that alone is malaki na yung nila. Number three, they get talents from everywhere. So hindi sila um, bound, hindi sila limited ng pag hire dun lang sa area nila. Kasi what if wala silang mahanap? Okay, so it means that uh, since they can connect with anyone online as long as online ka, even if nasa ibang wansa ka, and nag-click talaga kayo, and the client really sees that you're the perfect fit, uh, you, wherever you are is not a problem anymore. Okay? Um, number four, they don't need to promise a long-term engagement. Okay? So, sometimes, uh, getting people to work for you, minsan kailangan mag-promise na, ah, long-term to, kailangan may ganito, may ganyan. Um, they don't have to do that, especially for startups. They can't promise that because it's just, uh, sila rin mismo, hindi nila alam. Of course, yun ang gusto nila na magstay yung business nila, but who knows? So they can't really promise that. Uh, and number five, uh, let's say that they can, uh, they can outsource or they can give the job to someone na um, yun yung passion. So for example, si Anne, hindi talaga niya strong suit yung yung marketing. So, she'll probably look for a VA na magaling sa marketing. So, not only is that person effective, but if passion nila yung marketing din, mas magiging maayos yung quality ng ginagawa nila. Parang ganun lang ang, ang thing. And number six, it simply don't have time. So, that's one of the reasons why they hire virtual assistants. So, in applying for a VA position and during interviews, these this these numbers here, uh, one to six, uh, you can stress on these things. I guess except for uh, number four. So yes, why except number four? Because you don't want to come off as you don't want to stay, even if you are given the chance. So just don't talk about that. Um, don't open that up. Now, oh, okay, you don't have to offer me this. Uh, uh, lang kung yung client mismo yung nagsabi during interviews or during the application process. But um, one, two, three, five, and six, these are stuff that you can say sa cover letter mo and sa interview. It's great. These are great lines that you can expound on and you can incorporate on your cover letters. You can use this as uh, a power line. Okay? You, you can just change this up same yung idea but you can uh, change it para mas swak siya dun sa gusto mo sabihin or gusto mo ilagay sa cover letter mo. So, so that's the tip for this video and on the next video we will talk about who is your client and how to get your client's attention. Um, as always, don't forget to send us a message if meron kayong tanong through the Facebook page, uh, Facebook group or, or our email.